everyone buying property is a big decision because it involves emotions as well so everyone ask a question before buying property what are the things i should consider so today we have an expert with us mr b m punicha who will be explaining you 10 key points which you have to consider before buying a property thank you bindya so friends uh, today uh, uh, i'll be uh, quickly running you through a 10 step process of how to come to the right decision while buying a property because property buying is a very personal decision it's a very emotional decision many times uh, because our decision making gets clouded with emotion we take wrong decisions we either go after a particular brand or a particular location we are not able to scientifically uh, you know analyze and say that why i should buy this particular property so what i've come up with is a 10 step process Uh, which is you know uh, available on my blogs as well so uh, the first step that you need to do is research general research on the location on the type of property you need do you need a two bedroom do you need a three bedroom do you need a villa do you need uh, you know group housing so that initial research is not just for the market it's also within you have to discuss with your family members you have to discuss with your spouse uh, understand what exactly you really need in the next 5 to 7 years because that is the time frame in which minimum you would be owning that house in about 5 6 years there's a probability you may outgrow this house but you ca- cannot plan for anything shorter than that you can plan for longer but you cannot plan for shorter than that first step is to do research second step is to open a simple spreadsheet a microsoft excel or a open office or whatever software you have a simple spreadsheet where you put a list of all the properties that fit that requirement so if say for example you are looking in a particular location in a particular city of a particular budget range list out all the properties now this is where your research starts i have come across a lot of customers who have gone and bought a particular property without even knowing that just half kilometer away there was a much better much cheaper property which very good you know amenities and they just missed out on that because they didn't do their research enough they went met one builder they saw price was in their budget they bought it and only afterwards they realized that they had missed out on such good opportunities so it is better to sharpen your axe before you start cutting the tree they say so you should get an excel sheet fill in all the properties that you can more the better it's better to have extra which you can knock off you know even if it's little higher than budget or little location is away add it and see whether you know uh, what really is you know use, useful for you So you, the third step is list as much info as you can. So collect brochures. You go to all the company websites. Today it costs you nothing. Or you call the builder, ask him to email you the website. They'll be happy to send you complete information. If you have doubts, queries, you can you know uh, ask the uh, salesperson. He'll be happy to help you out. So what I normally do is, if I am advising any any of my buyers, or if I am buying myself, I would take the Excel sheet and I would fill up all the parameters. and if i don't have any particular parameter say for example completion date i do not know of a particular project i would call the person say what's the completion date i'll fill that out and i'll make a comparison chart the step 4 would be the last row of your chart would be the price because for you the price is a very important decision making factor now if you do not get the right price if all parameters are matching but it's over your budget you can't buy you can't Oh, you know, suddenly overnight get extra funds to buy that property, though it may fit your requirement. So you first select what all you really want, and then eliminate the ones which do not fit in your budget. You will be left with a set of maybe three or five or even seven properties which have most of the amenities that you want or all of the amenities that you want within your budget. Now that is your target. Now that's when you start the buying process. So. you select the projects very carefully specification wise location wise and you give your own internal rating between maybe you and your spouse or you and your partner or anybody or you and your parents if if you are you know buying jointly with your parents work out a kind of rating okay this is out of 1 in 10 i'll give it 8 1 in 10 i'll give 7 so a property which is rated 7 should be cheaper than a property which is 8 if it isn't then obviously you knock that out so you are taking your own approach your own grading you are not relying on a broker or a sales guy to tell you what you should be doing you are using your own research and after that step 6 is you go and visit all the shortlisted properties once you visit all the properties 
one thing really funny about real estate is what you do on paper and when you physically visit the property could be totally two different things so on paper it could be you know with wonderful weather and green meadows when you go there there could be a slum next to it so you have one of one of the things which i learned very early on in my career was never ever take a decision without physically visiting the property you never know what's there in the backyard so step number 7 uh, is you evaluate all the pricing offers they've got Uh, many uh, builders would have okay at this if you buy before the end of this month we are going to give you either a free kitchen or you know some kind of benefit or a pre EMI scheme or some discount collect all that information come back and add it to your excel sheet so that excel sheet or spreadsheet that you would have is actually going to help you take the right decision once you have done that you reevaluate all the offers that step 8 and then shortlist one or two properties maximum Now, if you are unable to come down to one or two, you you are you you like three properties, that's fine. Whoever gives you the best deal, finally, you can go with them. But again, look at the, your internal ratings. Look at the pricing that is there. A uh, more or less all would be within your budget, but try to get the best possible price. And after that, step nine would be to give a counter offer to the builders. So he may have given you a pre EMI scheme, he may have given you a discount, but it is in your entire right. to go and make an offer okay you have offered me a property for 60 lakhs and you're giving me a free kitchen and you're giving me this that blah 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 but i want all of that give it to me at 58 or 55 or whatever you want you you are in your within your rights if asking for that further discount and based on what they reply decision the final decision or step 10 would be to decide on which project you want and then you go ahead for your legal due diligence and so on and so forth so this 10 step process is very very important Uh, you can either rewind the video and go through the process again or i'll quickly run it through you so step 1 is start your initial research step 2 is create a spreadsheet or an excel sheet step 3 is to list as much info as possible step 4 is to mark down the pricing or the quoted pricing on the last row of the spreadsheet step 5 is to choose the projects that are interesting to you uh, find out which come within your budget step 6 is to visit all the shortlisted projects Step seven is to evaluate the offers given. Step eight to re-evaluate the offers given internally with, between you know your, your family, and step nine is to make a counter offer and try to get the best deal. And step ten is to take the final decision. Reason why this is very useful is that if you take a day extra to decide and take the right decision, you will be thankful for the next ten fifteen years in most cases because most people do not buy properties more often than once in seven years. so 7 years is kind of a life cycle of a uh, of a buyer you know every in 7 years you would either outgrow your property so you need a bigger property or you want to buy an investment property or you want to buy a plot of land for you know retirement or want to buy something else so whatever decision you take if you take a day extra also it doesn't matter but using a simple scientific method uh, it's pretty easy if you want a copy of the template you can write into me the links are below i can help you you know get a comparison chart and i'll be happy to help out Thank you once again. Thank you for watching. Wonderful. I think if you consider these ten life-changing key points before buying a property, you have taken the right decision. Want to know more about real estate? The team of Wealth Doctors at IndianMoney.com is always there to help and guide you. You can explore this unique free advisory service just by giving a missed call on zero double two six one eight one six triple one. Thanks for watching. Please do like and share this video with your friends and family. To know more about financial concepts in much simpler way, please don't miss out to subscribe our YouTube channel. Be wise, get rich.